Hi friends. I brought something really cool to show you today. Kind of like show and tell. I wanted to show you this big box. What do you think is inside my big box? It's dirt. If you were here in my classroom, you'd be able to smell this dirt. It smells a little bit stinky. There's something in this dirt. Do you see anything in it? It's kind of hard to see what's inside my dirt. I'm going to use a little stick that I brought today, and I'm going to try to show you some of the things that are in my dirt. Check this out. What is that? It's a worm. This worm was crawling around in the dirt. Do you see how its body is curling up? Wow. This worm is alive. It lives in the dirt. There's more worms that are inside my dirt. I'm going to see if I can find a couple more to show you. There's some big worms and there's little worms. Worms are really, really good for gardens because they kind of help to clean the dirt. Worms crawl through all of the dirt in your garden. They eat it and they make tunnels and that helps your dirt to have lots of room for the roots of all of your plants in your garden. Worms eat dirt. They also eat rotten vegetables or old leaves. Oh, I found a very twisty worm. Worms actually breathe through their skin. And so we have to make sure that the worms don't get too covered in mud or too wet because that makes it hard for them to breathe. Do you see how this worm is a little bit twisty? It's moving around a little. Some people like to go look for worms after it rains. The worms usually come out of the dirt and they crawl around on the grass or maybe on the sidewalk if it gets too rainy and wet. Oh, it's very, very twisty. What a cool worm. Some people call these earthworms, which is just another word for a worm. Earthworms, because they live down in the dirt, in the earth. There's quite a few. I've got two on my stick this time. Look at that. These ones are friends. These worms are so cool. These worms are inside my classroom right now so that my friends could explore them with a magnifying glass and we could watch them move and watch them crawl through the dirt. But today I'm actually going to be taking these worms and putting them in my garden because I want my garden to grow and have really healthy dirt. And so I'm going to take all of this dirt and I am going to go dump it in the garden. And all of these worms are going to help my garden to grow. I'm very excited for all these worms to be living in my garden. I thought that today maybe we could read a book about worms and learn a little bit more about them. I have a book called Wonderful Worms and I wanted to read it with you. I'm going to put away my big worm box and I'll be right back. Here is my book Wonderful Worms by Linda Glazer. Let's read this one together. Earthworms are fat and wiggly, like my fingers and toes. They live where it's cool and dark and damp, where roots spread out like underground trees. See the roots of this tree? They're spreading out under the dirt. And then there's some tunnels. I noticed that this tunnel has a worm in it. Worms feel sounds with their whole bodies. They feel thunder when I'm walking. So when we walk on the grass, the worms think there's thunder. They are wonderful diggers. They dig passageways and burrows, but they don't use shovels or fingers or toes. How does a worm dig a tunnel? Not with a shovel. How do they do it? They eat their way through and move along. 
They stretch out long and thin and squeeze in short and fat. Stretch and squeeze, stretch and squeeze, eat and dig, move and dig. Earthworms mix and turn the dirt as they dig and tunnel in the earth. Look, these worms live right under a beautiful flower garden. That helps the dirt to stay healthy for the flowers to grow. They make the soil soft and airy so the roots of the plants can breathe and grow. What great helpers. Worms don't have eyes or ears or a nose, but they do have a mouth. Look at this boy, he's holding a worm. He's being so gentle, holding it with a, lot, with a flat hand. Worms need food, just like us, but they eat dirt and rotting leaves. They swallow tiny pieces, and inside the worms, the food changes. When you eat food, does it change inside your body? I know my food changes after I eat it. It turns into poop. That's true. That's how our food changes. When worm food comes out of their tail end, it makes the earth rich so plants can grow. It's like vitamins for plants. Earthworms are my helpers, the underground gardeners. We work hard in the dirt in my garden, their home. Look at this boy helping in the garden. He's picking some flowers and taking care of all of the things that are growing in the garden. And he is thankful for all the worms that are helping the dirt to be healthy underneath. Worms are really great helpers for a garden. They help plants to grow. And that's why I'm gonna put these worms in my garden. They are gonna help make the dirt in my garden so healthy. They're gonna help make the roots have extra space to grow with air in those tunnels under the ground. I'm very excited that I have some helper worms to add to my garden. I had a lot of fun reading with you today and showing you my worm collection. I hope that you'll come back again soon so we can read together. There's a subscribe button down here so that we can keep reading right here on YouTube. And if you're interested in a virtual preschool class, we learn things on a screen just like this all the time. There is a link below for that too. I hope I see you again soon. Bye-bye, friends.